good morning children welcome to today's class so last class we have discussed about powerpoint that is chapter 5 so today we will discuss about chapter 6 giving life to the presentation in chapter 5 we have done how to create a presentation how you can create a presentation using template themes everything we have discussed so in today's class how to give life to the presentation how you can give animation to a presentation everything we will discuss so take out your book and open page number 65 that is chapter 6 giving life to the presentation one activity is given in page number 65 that you have to do by yourself it is related to the previous chapter okay so adding life to the presentation the name of the chapter is giving life to the presentation adding animation to the presentation so oh, how you can give animation to the presentation animation is a visual effect added to the objects on a slide including text pictures shapes or to the slides as a whole so adding animation to the presentation offers the following benefits what are the benefits of adding animation to the presentation animation is a visual effect it can be added to a objects on a slide it provides visual interest to grab the audience attention so it provides interest to grab the audience attention it can reveal the points of the slides in a staged manner one point at a time to keep the audience focus only on the point we are discussing at the given time the presentation can be automated so that it runs on its own types of animation effect in powerpoint the powerpoint feature is used to animate individual objects on a slide so individual objects on a slide it defines how individual objects move one or off from a slide and get highlighted during the slide show how the object get highlighted during the slide show the animation effects are available in the animation tab and are divided into four categories the four categories are first one is entrance effect in this category first one is the entrance effect so in this category define how the objects would appear on the slide second one is emphasis this effects help to highlight on objects during the slide show in order to draw the audience attention third one is exit these effects define how the object would leave the slide and fourth one is motion path this effects allow the object to move along a user and define path so four types of animation effects are there entrance emphasis exit and motion path applying animation to an objects so this are the steps we follow to apply animation to a objects select the object and click on animation tab in the animation group click more drop down arrow to view the available animation at the view the available animations now you can see different animation in the animation group click on more drop down arrow to view the available animation more animation scroll through the list and select the desired animation effect the option given at the bottom of the above list can help you to find even more animation effects the objects will now have a small number of text to it show that it has animation in the slide pan so the slide will now have a pushing star symbol next to it you have applied in the start field on the timings group select where you want to start the animation on mouse click or with previous you will apply so on mouse click with previous animation or after previous animation you can click here now in the duration field the duration of the animation in the delay field specify the time in seconds after which the animation should start playing so duration field and delay field you can also select more objects to add animation to them 
to preview the animation click on preview button in the preview group all the effects will play through automatically so some animation effects have extra options which you can change for example with the fly in effect you can control which direction the objects come from and these animations can be accessed accessed from the effect option button in the animation group now you can apply effects also to the animation so how to give effects in the animation group so adding multiple animation to an object sometimes we may want to add more than one animation effect to an object for example both entrance and exit effect we can also do this with the help of add animation button that allows us to keep the current animation while adding the new ones so the steps to do this is select the required object and open the animation tab in the advanced animation group click add animation button select the desired animation effect from the drop down list you can specify star and duration and delay properties for each effect in the timing group or accept the default value if the object has more than one effect it will have a different number for each effect the numbers indicate the order in which the effects will occur during the slide show now customizing animation the animation pan allow us to view modify reorder animation effects applied to different objects on a slide we can open the animation pan by clicking on the animation pan button in the advanced animation group so you can click on the advanced animation group and there you can reorder effects and changing the start option so you can reordering the effects effects and changing the start option we can reorder the effects and change the start option by the steps given below so the animation pan will open on the right side window listing the various animation effects applied to the current slide reordering effects and changing the time click and drag the required effect up or down to change its order the effects will reorder accordingly you can drag up and down to change its order now to change the start option for an of effect selects its animation pan a drop down arrow will appear next to the effect click the drop down arrow a menu appear listing three st start options at the top so select the desired option you can click on play button in the animation pan to preview the reordered animation effect so in this way you can reorder effects and changing start option now enhancing the animation effect from the animation pan we can access the effects option dialog box that contains more advanced options we can use fine tune our animation the steps are given below from the animation pan select an effect a drop down arrow will appear next to the effect click the drop down arrow and select the effect options the effect dialog box will appear with the effect tab active now in the effect tab you can select a sound from the sound field to play with the animation select an after animation effect from an object from after animation tab if you are animating text you can choose to animate it all at once or one word at a time one letter at a time from the animate text field to change the timing related setting select timing tab to change the timing you can select timing there so from here you can to change the timing related setting select timing tab from here you can add a delay or before an effect starts change the duration of the effect and the control whether the effect repeats now click on okay button 
you can click on ok button the animation setting will change as specified so now tip to remove an animation effect select it in the animation pan click on the drop down arrow and select the remove option from the drop down menu so in this way you can remove the effect now you can select one word at a time one letter at a time from the animation text field to change the timing related settings select the timing tab again select the time from here you can add a delay before that effect starts and change the duration of the effect and control whether the effects repeats click on ok to complete the task the animate settings will change as specified now one activity is given at page number 68 so related to the above topics so children you have to do that one now adding slide transition so the special effect with which a slide is applied with which a slide is introduced in a presentation during the slideshow is called slide transition effect the steps to add transition effect are select the slide to which you want to apply the transition effect click on the transition tab in the transition to the slide group you can see a number of transition effects now click here to apply the transition effect to all the slides if you want to apply transition effect to all the slides, you can click here select the transition effect you want to apply to the current slide you can remove a transition effect applied to a slide by selecting none button in the transition tab you can remove by applying none button to the transition tab now adding sound to the transition the sound effect added with the visual effect can enhance the overall transition effect so the steps are given below open the transition tab in the timings group click on sound drop down arrow from the list that appears select a required sound effect the effect will be applied now varying transition speed the duration field in the timing group allows us to set the duration of the transition effect when we set a greater value the length of the transition effect increases we can see the transition effect for a longer time so you can see the transition effect for a longer time so we can follow the steps to set a duration for the transition effect applied to the slides in our presentation open the transition tab go to the duration field increase or decrease the duration by clicking on the up down arrow the transition duration will change click on apply to all transition effect to all the slides of your presentation now advancing the slide we can advance from one slide to another by clicking with mouse or automatically after waiting for a certain interval the steps to set how you want the slides to advance in your presentation are as follows select the slide with the transition effect applied to advance the slide manually enable the on mouse click option or to advance the slide automatically after an interval enable after checkbox and set the time the desired advance effect will apply select apply to all button to apply the same method to all the slides of the presentation so i have explained you how you can give sound effect how you can change the slide transition everything so so next class i will explain you about how you can give how you can give slide show to the tab option and keyboard shortcut so that's all for today see you in next class and children you have to write the terms to learn and 